did a little bit of drawing, but uh, not a lot. But um, there's the uh, the main character, taxi. But uh, another car off in the distance there. We'll make it slightly smaller that one. But uh, let's just move this over. See so, yeah, that's the beauty with the starting under the small. If you run out of room, you can always add a add a bit more on. Because I quite like the figure there talking to the uh, the guy in the taxi. So I think that's probably about as much drawing we need. So let's just uh, go for it. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't work. You know, it's uh, just an experiment. That if this works quite well, you know, it's something I could perhaps. Uh, work up to a, a, a bigger painting. So there's the sky that we can see. And now we go slightly darker in tone. So this is obviously a lot more tricky, a lot more tricky of a scene, um, but only really because it looks more complicated. But once you've got to grips with painting wet into wet, you know, there is no subject that's harder than the other really. That, um, you know, once you've got to grips with watercolour, it all becomes much easier to uh, to paint. But it does take a lot of practice. But, uh, I must have done thousands and thousands of paintings. So there's a, a truck here, so let's just leave a space for him. So also think about when you do details, the illusion of detail, that uh, you don't have to paint all of the detail, you know, just just enough to suggest, you know, there's a side of the building there. That looks like a skyscraper, a little bit darker down the bottom here. So again, thinking about painting wet into wet, let's just load this up with water here. And quite often, you know, having one of these little atomizers is a good idea just to um, give it a little spray. You don't want to go too close, just let it drop on there and that will just keep an area wet for a little bit longer. So there we go and change the colour, bit of blue over here for interest. Again, windows, don't make them all the same. You know, the catching light at different angles and so on, maybe. So we need this bead of water here. We can perhaps leave a few highlights that could be figures and bits and bobs. Let's just mix on the paper. And, you know, I would say, you know, if you're a beginner watercolour, I wouldn't tackle something like this, you know, just straight off. You know, before we have a go at it, but... Um, this is a lot more difficult to do than the other ones I've just done, you know, because I'm, I've got a plan ahead and think, you know, what's going to happen and how to to paint it. That you know, I need a plan in my head. So that all just comes with experience. That you know, I need a soft edge here that it's not going to work with a hard edge. So clean the brush off, and then just soften it. There we go, there's a, a soft edge there, and I could do with taking that off at an angle there. So, slightly more green. You see, the, a lot of these are made you know, with glass fronts and so on. Let's assume this is New York, could be uh, somewhere else, I suppose. So, but uh, you know, it's only if you're going to compare the painting to the photograph that you need to get it right. You know, that uh, if it's just going to be a little playing about with watercolour, that, you know, this is just practising wet into wet technique. So just a few marks. You now, leaving some white of the paper, that really does help to um, keep your paintings alive. That, um, just think about it sort of tonally at this stage, you know, that the details will come at the end. So we need to take care of what's going to 
happen here. So we'll just use some clean water. It's still slightly damp here. That's fine. And we're gonna have a tree here, so uh, that'll be okay. So this will stay wet for a little bit now in here. Let's give it a little spray just to uh, give ourselves a bit more time. And maybe while this is you know, nice and wet, let's just throw a bit of light in some of those windows. This um, bead is really useful because you can use it to cut around shapes and connect all these things up. So there's some little highlights around the wing mirror of the car. Probably got it in the wrong place, but it doesn't matter around that car and the important thing with the the car is the dark underneath that uh, that tells us what it is uh, save a little highlight for that figure and you can always get rid of the highlights so but if they're there <coughs> you can use them so let's have a go at uh, getting these cars sorted so there's the wheels anchoring it to the ground same with that one so i'm not even looking at the reference picture now but possibly because i know i painted this in oils the other day so i'm quite familiar with the scene so let's load up these wells make sure they're nice and full of water and paint and the right consistency you know what is the right consistency it's just practice is all you can do to to get that right this is the fun part get it nice and wet but as wet as we can get it here with lots of water without touching it there so there's one car so we need a little bit of light there Maybe we don't want a hard edge, so let's just bring that down. Let that run off the paper there. So I need some yellow for the taxi. So I'll need to leave a little bit of a, a gap because I don't want it to run into the here a little bit. But if it does a little bit, I'm not too worried that that will be okay because if I don't let it mix on the paper, it will look like it's just stuck on. So this does need to be painted wet into wet. So this is, you know, getting really used to uh, painting wet into wet, but um, it's not easy. It takes a lot of practice, but uh, once you've kind of got the hang of it, it you know, great fun. But say, start off with the uh, the simple subjects, you know, the simple landscapes that um, work up to uh, you know, trickier subjects. You know, I, I couldn't paint anything like this when I was learning to paint watercolour. I tried, but uh, always ended in a disaster. So, just a bit of water there, maybe a bit of blue. And what colour should we have this car? Let's go for blue. So we'll have the, the white screen on that one. Maybe not. I think you just got to go with it. That's what the, uh, maybe we can lift out a little bit there, maybe. Let's pop in the tail lights, which we'll need to use some paint straight from the tube because this has dried on the palette here and I just won't get enough off. That uh, once the paint's dried, you know, it's all right for doing delicate little flowers, but uh, all this sort of stuff, you need, you know, this gloopy paint straight from the tube, which is why I don't use um, these pans, the tablets. Um, the, some of the artist quality ones are okay. Um, but a lot of them they just dry up so hard that uh, you know they're no good. So there we go. There's a 
headlight, so paint straight from the tube, nice and thick. And let's find my reference picture because there's some traffic lights up here. So we'll have a traffic light there, and it disappear off down here. So there's red lights all over the place. Yeah. So it's still very damp here, so let's get those in. And this one there. So this note needs to be done while the paper's wet. So I think at this stage it'd be a good idea to let it dry and then have a look to see what we can do with it. Now we just need to put the details in. So thicker paint, so nice strong dark. And probably for most of the paintings this evening, I've only used cobalt blue, design crimson, yellow ochre, and possibly a bit of burnt umber. So thick paint. So we've got a traffic light there. And because this is just a little study, you know, I'm not doing any detail as such. Let's have a few verticals as well. And a figure, so we can use the highlights we've got left there to suggest a figure there. And we need to sort of decide, <clears throat> obviously we've got some really nice effects here, but I think it could do with some darks in here. So we'll maybe have to sacrifice some of the uh, nice things that have happened here, but uh, we'll see. So we've got some other figures walking across the road there. Lots of people all over the place. And just bits and bobs things about. Make that a little bit darker. Let's just try and uh, <clears throat> maybe, maybe if we just have some reflections of the figures in there and just a few verticals would that be enough just got to try connect maybe up to to there and if in doubt if it's uh you know, just put a bit of water on it and uh, fade it away into Nothing. Let's soften that. So as long as we've got an area of light, I think we'll be okay. That's going to have reflections. So take a bit of that off. Just damp that tissue. So let's again use my brush to take off a bit of water and maybe We'll put some directional lines, which lead us into the painting. I'm not sure about the perspective, but maybe that will be okay. Let's just dry that off. Oh, the tree. I didn't do the tree, did I? Quickly do the tree. I'll see, yeah, could probably get away without the tree, but actually maybe the uh, contrast of the hard and soft edge might be quite good. So just a bit of dry brush and that can just fade into to nothing. And while that's wet, what I can do is just scratch the little a board or whatever's on the top of the taxi, just suggest it there. Take the tape off of that. So thanks everyone for joining me.